Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be taking a look at my new series, which is going from zero gold to 100 million gold on a brand new account, fresh account with no CP, nothing. And um, we're just going to start from scratch and see how long it takes us to get 100 million. And um, we're going to sort of document in videos what we've done along the way and all the money making methods we used. So hopefully this is something you guys will enjoy. Hopefully you guys sort of like want this sort of series so make sure you leave a like and comment down below if you do enjoy it and just let me know what you think and if i should keep it going but yeah basically the reason behind the series is obviously a lot of people watch my videos i make quite a lot of gold making videos but they are usually with a lot of requirements like for example ritz you have to be you know cp 160 and invest a lot of time and money into doing all your research things like that to be able to do the ritz uh, other things like doing dungeons, you have to be pretty good at the game combat wise, you know, skill wise, and you have to be leveled up and have gear to really do that efficiently. So I think this is just a nice way for everyone to see exactly what I would do if I was restarting the game and wanted to make some money. So I'm just going to jump into the episode now and just let you guys know what happened on my previous stream and see where we started and where we ended on that stream. Um, also, yes, I do actually stream this on Twitch. If you guys want to pop over there, you can follow me and actually see me doing this live. So obviously, this is like a little eight, nine minute video. But overall, I think I streamed for like eight hours yesterday. And this is about a four hour clip condensed into about eight minutes. So if you want to see the full process and what I actually do, you can go over there and just uh, chat. But um, yeah, I'm just going to jump into the episode now. Yeah guys, so this is basically me fresh out of the tutorial. So as you can see, I'm level two. I have nothing but the little chicken and the ability to raise the dead. That's all I have. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna obviously eat the chicken. We're gonna you know get a couple of abilities to start with. Um, we're gonna go and see what we're gonna do first for money making. And we're gonna just think about what way we wanna take this. So the first thing I decided to do was head over to Canarthe's Roost to do some material farming. Now, I, I done about one or two laps here before I decided there was too many bots and that uh, I was getting not CP160 nodes, so I didn't really see a point in doing this too much early on. Um, it can be a decent money maker if you only want to make money, but I felt like there were a lot better money making methods out there that required me to be like CP160, so I think we're going to just go focus on leveling up for now and try and make a little bit of money while doing so. Another thing we're going over quickly is we're going to join some trading guilds because obviously we're trying to make money so we need to sell items and to sell items we need to be in good guilds. Fortunately I actually own a trading guild on Xbox so I'm going to get into one definitely but hopefully a couple of the others will take in like a little level 4 or 5 account and uh, let them use a trader. So to get from level 2 up to level 10 what I'm going to be doing is dolmens. Now the reason I'm doing dolmens is because really you can't kill much on your own whenever you're level 2. So looking for a dolmen group and getting level 10 is probably the best thing you can do at the start. Unless, of course, you have a friend who's going to like group up with you and you can just go do whatever you want. But uh, I'm trying to do this series from scratch, not really trying to get my friends to carry me through content um, just to make it easier for me. So I'm just doing what I would do on my own. Also, it's important to point out right at the start, um, these dolmens do drop a lot of trash loot. Now, if you're trying to make money and you're literally just beginning, you want to pick everything up. So obviously the chest can have some green jewelry in it as well. So I'm picking up everything along with the jewelry. I'm going to be selling everything apart from the jewelry to a merchant. Now the reason behind that is that this little, these little bits and pieces will add up to, you know, a couple of thousand gold over time and I might as well pick them up. And also I'm not using the jewelry. I'm going to deconstruct it later because you can get green platens and purple platens, things like that from it. And those are worth quite a lot of money so i'm just going to deconstruct those in hopes to get the greens so once i hit level 10 i immediately started to like scrounge in a guild so i typed in the guild chats um could someone make me some training armor please and obviously very kindly dragon has decided that she was going to come and give me some training armor so that's quite nice and generally you do find some nice people in the guild chats just here willing to give you training armor because it's not too expensive to make and you know they like to help so what we're doing now is with our training armor we've moved on to the alkir zombie farm now, for me, this is probably the best XP farm that you can do in the game to level up unless you're able to do normal Black Rose, but on an account with no CP and level 1 training armor and being level 10, it's just not on the cards for me. And again, I could get a friend to come carry me through that, but again, I don't want to do that because that's not realistically what everyone else is going to be able to do. 
So again, this is actually reasonably good money. So you may not think it, but over time you're picking up a lot of weapons, armor. You're picking up a lot of bait. So the worms and the crawlers, things like this. Now a stack of worms on Xbox sells for around 9K. A stack of flesh fry larvae is like 4K and the same with the other baits. So over time they are filling up in my craft bike. And we're also just taking trips to a merchant every now and again to sell all the other items like weapons for some coins. Now, if you happen to have a merchant and you're starting off, it's, you know, it's an easy life because you don't have to travel every time you get a full inventory. Um, also, luckily, I was able to group up with someone who had a merchant who just was doing the farm with me. Um, so that's always nice. Always, if you see like one other guy, try and group up with him. So you're not splitting XP, you're actually sharing it and you're getting more XP. And also if they have a merchant, that's a, a real good bonus. You don't have to waste time. You get to make your money there and then. So I was also doing my daily dungeon to get the XP from that. And you also get a little bits and pieces you can sell. But uh, I tried to do my daily battleground. Don't want to talk about it. Didn't get the XP essentially. So I was a bit of a waste of time. But uh, yeah, daily dungeon, do that if you're leveling up. So I got a little bit bored halfway through leveling up. You know, I wanted a bit of a break. And I decided obviously... In the future, we are going to be opening chests, things like that. So we want our ledger main up so we can pick locks more easily and things like that. So I went to this little spot in Craglorn, stole a bunch of apples, and I've just laundered them to get my ledger main up. And that's something I'm going to be doing daily until I have max ledger main. Because we just want to be able to force pick things to make it efficient when we're making money. We don't really want to be picking individual chests open um, later down the line. So after that, I just went back to the Alkir zombies to do some more farming. Essentially, we rounded out the day there. We have about 11k coins. Um, we also have around about a stack of flesh fry lava, almost a stack of worms, and about a stack of crawlers. So, realistically, you've probably made the 11k there, plus maybe 4k from the flesh fry lava, so maybe maybe 15k, and another nine from the worms. So, potentially, we've made around about 24 ish k, you know, at a push if everything sells. So that's not too bad. So we got to level 28 and we got around 24k gold from the day. So, so hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It is a little bit slow, obviously, starting up because a lot of this is going to be me leveling up and doing not very fun things like killing zombies and doing dolmens. But eventually it does get quite good and you'll see some interesting money making methods. So yeah, if you guys did like it and you're enjoying it, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more like this. And you can also pop over to Twitch and uh, check me doing that live 